Hi guys, um, today I'm going to show you how to fill a tax with a image and for the purposes of this tutorial I'm going to fill some tax with a Union Jack and that's because I am British and very proud of that and I love the Union Jack. So first of all what you do is you go to PicMonkey and I'm assuming you already know PicMonkey but it's a free um, graphic design site and um, it's fantastic you, you really don't need to buy any of these other expensive photoshops or any of those with this on the market um, so once you're in um, PicMonkey um, go to create and we'll just do a Facebook cover for now and that's a pre preset size so that's our canvas and now we want to add our text to it so if we go to text we click the text there on the left hand side and um, my computer is very slow and temperamental so it may even crash but not a lot I can do about that so I'm just waiting on the tax loading the tax options loading and uh, here we go very slow okay now um, for this we want a chunky tax obviously because we're going to fill it with um, chunk 5 let's try chunk 5 I've not tried that before so we select chunk 5 and then we select add text and the text box is here so what we'll do is we'll put in Great Britain oops Great Britain oh dear right B that's it Britain rules okay and we want to make this bigger so what we need to do is there's a few ways you can pull the um, corners and that or you can just highlight it and do it here okay um, and then what we need to do is just wait for my computer to decide to do what I want it and then pull these sides here so we can get it to fill the screen there and over this way okay I wonder if we can get that probably get that a little bit bigger so we highlight it inside the box there Oops, too big. Right, that might do it actually. Let's have a look. Just pull that a little bit there. We'll make it a tiny bit smaller so it can all fit in there. Right, there we go, that'll do. Okay, so there we have a Great Britain rules. Um, now you can either crop this now or you can crop it later, but I'll show you quickly how to crop it. So if you go to the crop tool over here, which is uh, on the basic edits, click the crop tool crop and just pull this box over and set it up in the dimensions that you would like it to be okay here we go and press apply and there we have great Britain rules now what we do now is we find our mask our image that we're going to fill the text with I've obviously got the text I know where it is it's on my in my pictures folder so if you go to your own and if I put Union Jack, that should come up. Yep, Union Jack, and open, and there it is. Um, now the thing is, if I make this really a lot bigger, it's going to lose a lot of its features. So what I'm going to do is, and this is a tiny bit consuming, but what we'll do is we'll duplicate that. So we'll duplicate that. So we right-click it, duplicate overlay okay bring that over there same size line it up duplicate on the lay, overlay should I say uh, bring it over there and um, one more should do it duplicate overlay and there we go well, that four fits it and then what we do is we go to each individual one and we can do this great okay. Britain rules oops right okay now there you have it now obviously if your colors aren't the way exactly you want them to you can move these about a little bit so we'll move that like that so we can get all the colors in there um, that's not too bad a bit of blue maybe yeah let's have a look at this one um, let's see get a bit of the red and white in there yeah and Britain rules is perfect and uh, you have great Britain rules and if we combine those 
and they're combined so they can't be moved now and save that to your desktop go to save or save it wherever you like but I'm just going to save it to my desktop so I know where it is obviously you can mess about with it uh, mess about with it now but I was just really showing you the process of how to do it and uh, we put that on my desktop Union Jack Great Britain rules and save that so it'll be on my desktop now and that's the end of this tutorial thank you for watching and please subscribe bye